I've been thinking about this image for three straight months. This isn't going to be an anti-Mr. Beast video. I mean, hating Mr. Beast is kind of pointless because he's just kind of like a planet that's just up there doing its own thing. You can't really do anything about it, so like, what are you gonna do, hate Neptune? I'm not even an avid watcher of Mr. Beast and still these videos will show up on my timeline every time he posts one because YouTube loves him. YouTube would probably sell 80% of its other creators in order to keep Mr. Beast on. They, he's their golden boy, he's their golden child. I'm saying gold because I'm thinking about that damn boat. No, the first time I saw this image, it was in an ad. Meaning at the top of my YouTube page, there was a sponsored video of this image. I don't know why YouTube put a Mr. Beast video in the sponsored category when it usually just puts it in my regular feed, but either way it worked. I saw it and here we are. I think I can say this fully and honestly. I have never wanted to click a video so badly before in my entire life. I have had full-on conversations with people where I have been thinking about this image the entire time. It's been haunting me, and I know it sounds like I'm hyping this up too much, but... I mean, you have to understand that this is just the culmination of a thousand different YouTube, like, thread lines all coming together to create this. And I kind of can't believe that it happened, and this is how it's hitting me. One dollar versus one billion dollar yacht. So it's not a completely foreign title. There's an entire genre of challenge videos on YouTube where it's one dollar blank versus this many dollars blank. There's too many blanks. This is a very successful and popular title on YouTube. Just have anything versus one dollar and people click it. Whenever I'm doing research on a person that has done challenge videos, I see these titles and I've, I've never clicked one of the videos because I assume that the $1 product doesn't do the same thing as the billion dollar product, but those are like $1 knife versus $10,000 knife. $1 bicycle versus $500 bicycle. $1 computer versus a $10,000 computer. I've seen these things and no matter what the $1 product is, it hasn't caught my attention as much as this. And really, this shouldn't be hard for anyone to process, and I don't expect anyone watching this to empathize with me. But when I saw this sponsored ad of a video, I just asked myself a question that has been haunting me this entire time. What is a $1 yacht? I can picture a $1 knife. I can picture a $1 bicycle. I can kind of picture a $1 computer. But a yacht? Not boat, he's specific. He says yacht, and a yacht implies high status, wealth. You know, us peasants don't belong on yachts. And that title, as well as all the other titles in that genre, are just clickbait. But it's effective clickbait because it's teasing you and it makes you ask yourself what the answer could possibly be. And it worked way too well on me. The image is Photoshop. I don't think that's a frame from the video. And he's portrayed the expensive yacht as being solid gold. I didn't even want to watch this so I could turn it into a video. I, I just wanted to watch it and have my questions answered. And I couldn't because I know that it's clickbait. And I know this image isn't real. And I know there is going to be some excuse for the clickbait. But that's just not enough to kill the curiosity within me. Usually I have notes to reference whenever I'm filming. Um, here are the notes for this video. I gave up. When it comes to people making a living off of getting someone's attention and having you click what they have as opposed to anyone else's, 
views matter. But no one likes saying that because it sounds shallow. It sounds like you only care about the monetary benefits you get from the video and not at all about the response from the people. And the answer to that question that likely plagues a lot of creators is just so obvious you don't really want to accept it as the truth, but it's that views matter, but they don't. But a little they do. And even with early YouTube, once people knew that it was a war for attention, they just started outright lying. Back then, the only disadvantage to lying as clickbait would be a dislike, or someone deciding not to watch your videos anymore. If I had a nickel for every YouTube thumbnail I saw with a white woman's butt in the middle and like guys act reacting shocked to it, I'd probably own the golden yacht. And don't worry, they never showed up in the video. Not at all. The butts, not the guys. Finally, YouTube started cracking down on the whole false advertising thing, and you could no longer get away with just outright lying in your videos. But that doesn't stop human ingenuity. Because it turns out, when you make content for kids, you can lie and say it's a joke. And you can actually get away with a lot of... A lot of stuff. You just gotta get their dumb little hands to click your video and boom, you've made money. And that extensive history of changes and developments, I mean, who cares? It just brings us right here. To this. It makes sense that Mr. Beast perfected this. I think his challenge videos have always used this kind of extreme exaggeration in order to portray what he does. To me, this is my final boss of experiencing clickbait because I f I'm falling for it really badly. Is a $1 yacht like a canoe? Could they even call it a yacht? What does a boat have to be in order to qualify as a yacht? I'm not up to date on boats. I describe it as torture, and it kind of was, but it was honestly such an interesting challenge for me to picture what a one dollar yacht would be. I don't have an answer. I'm not pro clickbait, but I understand it. I want to watch this video, but I don't want to let it win. I find myself here at this mental and quite personal crossroads. I can't keep guessing what a one dollar yacht would look like. Is it like a bucket? Like a bucket with the word yacht painted on it? I'm just one simple YouTube user deliberately falling for clickbait. And maybe that in itself is a poetic thing somehow. Well, when I searched for it, uh, I got an ad for yachts, uh, which grossly overestimates my spending range. And if I could just get 10,000 of you to pay $1 to my Patreon, I still can't buy a yacht. And the last piece of information that I can take from this video before watching it is the little preview of the description uh, where it says, subscribe or I take your dog. And that's, you know, strange, but it's not the first time I've been threatened by a yacht owner, and it certainly will not be the last. I am ready to take the plunge. I want you to turn your metaphorical key with mine, and we'll click this video together. Oh, it's an ad. This is a one billion dollar super yacht, and it's big enough to hold an entire city on the water. Pause. Fuck. I get it, you have to start the video by throwing the magnitude of the situation at us, but like, I need a minute to breathe after that. And a 300 million dollar mega yacht, a 50 million dollar giga yacht, all the way down to this one dollar yacht. Why did you sell me this boat for a dollar? The storage just keep racking up. $18, yeah. $18,000. It's so. cost you 18 grand a year to store this? Correct. Interesting. There you go. Thank you. Well, there you go. They got a guy to sell them a boat for $1. 
how it qualifies as a yacht, I don't know. Why they feel the need to compare yachts, I don't know. This doesn't really seem like something that the average Mr. Beast viewer would relate to. Maybe it's a video that wants them to like aspire to own a yacht someday. I don't know. I don't care. I, I gotta learn more. And after stepping on board, it was pretty clear why this yacht only cost $1. Oh, oh we're actually sinking. Oh. The boat literally started sinking right when we put it in the water. That was the $1 yacht. Later in this video, we have a $50 million yacht, a $300 million yacht. That almost seems like he's wrapping up the whole $1 yacht point entirely because he just reminded us what the rest of the video would be about a minute after he said it the first time. Yeah, so shocking cinema. It turns out that the guys liked every new boat they went to because it was of a higher quality. I genuinely feel kind of stupid for thinking about this for three months. I might have built it up to be too much. Yeah? Um, I have, I spilled something and I have to vacuum it up really quickly for like 30 seconds. Is that okay? Yeah, you can vacuum. I, I think I'm done here. Okay, wait one second. Um, what do you think a one dollar yacht would look like? A one dollar yacht? Yeah. Like a rowboat? Like a like a kayak, a rowboat, right? Yeah. Okay, just checking. I. I think I just learned I've been crazy for three months. Why? I'll watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.